Hey guys, <clears throat> Glenn Trayer here, Mountain Man Journals of Trayer Wilderness. Um, I just wanted to shoot a video here today. Um, I was out here, oh, I think it was yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday, and I found this spot and it kind of inspired a, a video um, on something uh, that I'd like to, you know, just kind of touch on. Um, that's uh, natural shelter. Um, finding natural shelter and when you find a good natural shelter you want to remember it and you want to store it up there and if you're lost or whatever and you find a good natural shelter even if the day's like a little over half over sometimes it's better to keep that shelter and stay in that shelter um, rather than pushing on and having to make some kind of makeshift you know quickie shelter that might not do you as good so um, I just wanted to show you this I also wanted to uh, give a little uh, I guess you call it a shout out or whatever to a young man in Tennessee um, his name's Briar and uh, he uh, watches my videos and stuff and uh, I just wanted to say hey bud and uh, thanks for watching my videos and um, just uh, hope you're doing all right down there and uh, staying warm here you guys have been getting some pretty cold weather but uh, yeah just uh, hope you're doing well bud and um, remember keep God first in your life and uh, all right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this camera around. I'm going to show you a couple things here and show you this natural shelter that I found the other day. So, all right, get turned around here. All right, sorry about this shaking and stuff. I'm trying to get this camera set up here for you. Uh, it's just my stuff here. Um, this is something, too. I might as well touch on while I'm here. Um, some things I picked up along the way. Found some fatwood, some really nice fatwood there. Um, along the way, uh, nice thick, heavy mullein plant that I'm gonna make some char out of. Um, and a really nice sharp piece of quartz for flint and steel or whatever. Um, so I thought I'd show you that stuff. Um, Here's something you might remember too, those of you who have watched my videos and stuff, is uh, the knife eddy. Now if you take notice, I actually cut the end down um, out here. Uh, I didn't really like how it was, it wasn't doing doing a whole lot of good. But uh, so why I did that was, see if I can do this and hold this camera and everything at the same time. <laughs> Um, but the reason I did that is because now this makes a nice chopping tool, um, and I can chop. It's about 18 and a half inches overall, but I can use this thing for, if I had to, I can grab a hold here now. It's nice and rounded. Um, I can use it for a draw knife, um, you know, all kinds of things now. Um, not that I couldn't have before, but, you know. I just wanted to make a little bit. And I actually have to give my cousin Jonathan credit for this. Um, he made one of these. And uh, this is out of an old chainsaw bar. But uh, he made one of these this way too. And I uh, have to give him, like I said, credit for the idea. This was actually uh, the Vikings used to uh, have this style of knife. So uh, I have to give him the credit for it, for the idea. So... All right, so I'm going to step back here and show you. This is a great big old cedar. Now, you can see part of it goes up. See, I'm going to block some of the sun for you. Um, it goes way up in the tree, comes down. There's a bunch here, and it kind of makes almost a little cubby up in underneath there. A nice area up in there that we can clean out and we can take some of this uh, you can see there I had my fire yesterday um, walk around here we can take some of this 
stuff you can see there's like slabs of cedar bark or cedar um, that are laying there we can take parts of that and excuse me continue making our shelter you know out over the top here and block some of the back off and kind of bring it around and kind of give us a really really nice shelter um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and um, use some of this and uh, here you go here's a real nice view of this you can see some really nice slabs here um, might have to do some cutting some chopping but um, there's some laying up there you can see this is burned out there's a piece nice big piece over there against that tree that's real nice um, that'll be able to lay in there and make some, a really nice shelter boy I wish I could get that big old piece there um, down and use the top and stuff but <laughs> that's uh, that's big you might not realize how big that is but that's probably almost well down here at the bottom well even all the way up close it's pretty much about three foot and wide and uh, probably about four to six inches something like that thick so it's a big it's a big old piece but uh, I'm gonna get some of this um, cut and uh, bring it around and um, get going here and get building this and I'll uh, I'll bring you in and show you as the progress grow excuse me goes and uh, we'll uh, we'll get back with you here right directly like I said I'm gonna get rolling on this and try and get this done as if I was out and I got lost or something um, happened and I had to spend the night I'm gonna build this shelter I'm probably not gonna spend the night out here tonight but uh, might be a possibility maybe we'll do that one of these evenings um, come out here and uh, spend the night out here so uh, I guess with that being said guys I'll get rolling on this and I'll be right back with you all right see you in a little bit All right, guys, so we got the majority of it done. Um, see, I kind of dug it out in there and lined the side and the top here. <laughs> um, you can see there, I took some of my clothes off. Remember, don't get yourself all sweated up. Um, but here, you know, kind of the top of it. I'm going to fill in some of the other side, but I'm going to take you around here. Um, and remember, we're not building the Taj Mahal here. You know, this is a, uh, a place to get out of the weather quick. Um, I don't know. This might have taken me 30 minutes to do this. 20, 30 minutes. And I haven't expended a lot of energy um, doing it. So... Um, you know, it's, it wasn't a big deal, but remember, you know, you're, you're just building a shelter to get out of weather here. See, I blocked a lot of that off there. Um, remember, heat rises, so if you can take and block off any of those cracks and stuff. See, there's a big crack there I'd like to fill. And that um, kind of fill in some of that side. Got most of them filled up. But get your main shelter done. Get the main part done. And then um, after you've gotten the main section done, then you can go back if you have time um, to go back and start filling in your holes and that sort of thing. But get the majority of it done first, and then go back and start, um, you know, fine-tuning it. Uh, you don't want to, you know, get caught with your pants down, um, you know, having the shoulder half done because you were poking around trying to, uh, you know, fill in little holes as you went. I filled in a lot, but, you know, uh, I have quite a bit to do yet. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take and step back here 
I'd like to fill that side in a little bit with some stuff. Maybe not all the way up, but, you know, a good portion of the way. Got some stuff laying right there and a bunch of other stuff I can throw in there. Um, just to kind of block that. Now, the prevailing winds here come from that way. Or actually, that way. Coming across. So, we got a good natural block there for the winds. Um, but I just wanted to show you that and show you where we're at and uh, I'm going to keep on trucking on this thing and get back with you. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so uh, here we are. Um, I think we got her pretty much finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, everything we had to gather for this shelter was right, you know, right here right at this tree um, that's when you're you know you're looking for them natural shelters and stuff um, everything was right here I didn't have to go way off and bring stuff in and um, you know expend a lot of energy to do this um, maybe took me like 45 minutes to do this to an hour um, and I got lots of lots and lots of lots of firewood right here at my site so you know firewood's not an issue um, you know everything's right here uh, I guess we'll show you around here um, I mean I got plenty of place here if you can see to stretch out in here um, and I can even right in here put a bunch of firewood for the night so I can just ha cut a bunch and set it right there and I don't have to worry about going out and gathering um, I kind of like this, how, you probably can't see this real well, but this top is domed-like. So what that'll do, the heat from the fire will rise up, catch that, and it'll roll right around and come right back down on top of me. So that'll help keep you warm. Um, I'll take you around, you can kind of see there, I blocked off that side. Take you around this side here. Sorry about all the shaking, but uh, I just closed off this side with a bunch of, uh, you know, just pieces. All kinds of pieces that I got from over here. Um, you know, and just took them and laid them in place there and covered up holes. Like I said, again, we're not building the Taj Mahal. You know, this is to keep us out of the weather and keep us warm for the night. Um, there give you the top view right here you can see I just piled stuff on you know nothing fancy um, go back down here hey pup come around the back side see I still had I still had tons of material here that I could have used um, if I so needed um, Pretty much the only thing that you could maybe desire to do is, uh, there's this side. What are you doing? Skippy. Playing King of the Hill? Huh? Um, you know, maybe you could get a couple pieces, longer pieces, and stick them in on this side and angle it up like that or something. But, you know, that's, that's plenty, plenty good um, to keep you keep you nice and warm and out of the weather um, another thing you could do if you needed to is uh, out here is uh, you can see all this moss sphagnum moss I mean that's pretty thick you could take that and stuff that in some of the holes and stuff to help plug stuff up and you can also take that another good thing that stuff works great for is taking that and uh, gathering a bunch of that up and bringing it in here and putting it in there for bedding. Now this, you know, as you can see, we got snow over there and this is rained on and stuff. You don't want to take and, um, 
you know lay on top of that or you're gonna get you're gonna get wet and then you're gonna have a whole different issues a whole pile of other issues um, but what I do what I do is with this is I'd actually take my space blanket I have my space blanket right in the bottom of my thing I kind of drape it on the inside it helped keep heat in and reflect it down on me I also have a trash bag in there 55 gallon drum liner take that and lay that on top of my uh, my moss and that'll keep the moisture and everything from wicking up give me a nice warm cushion to lay on and keep me nice and comfortable and warm through the night um, so uh, there you go and uh, again um, just a little FYI just as you're walking around you know this is that mullen stalk that I found you know for making char um, just uh, you know when you're walking around keep your eyes open for things you know for materials for your next fire for whatever just keep your eyes and your mind open to things so well guys my battery lights flashing so uh, I guess uh, my hunt's playing uh, king of the hill and I'm gonna shut this thing down and uh, probably get on out of here but uh, just wanted to show you this and uh, also say hi to Briar and I um, hope everybody's doing well out there and I guess with that being said guys take care God bless and we'll catch you on the next one have a good one all right guys so I thought I'd shoot this here with you quick but uh, there you can kind of see the setup. Fire looks further away, at least what I'm looking at here looks further away than what it really is. And I was sitting right in there, and man, I come out of there to film this, and uh, there's a significant um, temperature change with just that little fire going. Um, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you had a had a uh, big old fire going and stuff and had your space blanket draped up inside there yet man you'd stay you'd stay toasty warm so I just wanted to show you that here um, so alright guys well you take care and God bless we'll see you later